Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! Last time! We scaled the very scary scare scraper with a certain frenemy of mine! And we captured two new boss ghosts in the process that we won't be seeing in the story mode! This time! Finally, we are going to be exploring the Haunted Towers! The ghosts that live here have been waiting far too long to be busted, and who are we Who are we to deny them our services? So, let's not waste any time, get started right away with our first mission, a job for a plumber. The quest is taking us to a new location, Luigi. Aren't you excited? <laughs> no? <laughs> Come on. Where's your sense of adventure, son? Our work is far from done. We need to get a handle on these ghosts, or who knows how far they'll spread. And there's only one way to fix this mess. Restore the dark moon and place it back up in the sky. My periscope has located the next piece somewhere in these haunted towers. They've been abandoned for some time now, so they're teeming with exotic plants, and naturally, ghosts. The towers are in bad shape, and the water system seems to be broken. If only we had a plumber around here. <laughs> You see, the haunted towers feature a complex water system that powers all the machinery. So, the first thing on your to-do list will be to check the hydro generator. It's only two doors in, which you know what that means. We are going to have the key stolen from us a whole eight times before we're able to go through those doors. We know how the world works. Oh, and keep an eye out for the new for new types of ghosts. That goes without saying. Good luck, young feller. Good luck's usually far better than we typically do. Usually he's just like, okay, off you go, no complaining, and then just hits the button before we can even say one word about it. So I'll take it. This is already off to a good start. That ominous intro, just the calm instruments and they turn harsh as it zeroes in on the towers, the glowing of the tree, the noctilucent plant life, which I don't even know if that's a real word, but they say it in Xenoblade, which in my sheltered existence that is good enough for me for it to be a real word. Welcome to the Haunted Towers! Very different from the Gloomy Manor, we're going to be seeing a lot of variety in the places we're going to be exploring. Uh, speaking of which, we've already obtained the key! Which is a huge step up from how things were in Gloomy Manor. Usually a whole five ghosts would come by to spit in our face before we'd even be allowed to touch it, so that's definitely an improvement. Also, that's a lot of money. Lesson learned. Don't be a tree hugger, be a tree mugger. <laughs> I am so dumb. Let's just look into this window because it is the window to the hydro generator where we need to go. Just like the garage Hit back at the Gloomy Manor. <laughs> 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 what we need to do. We need to get the water moving so we can get the wheels a turning so we can get the power a zapping and the ghosts a busted. In. Yeah, I kind of lost it near the end right there. Also, that gate doesn't even have a doorknob. Is that typical? I've never had a gate in my house so I, or, on, or outside my house so I wouldn't be able to tell. I also haven't had a gate in my house, coincidentally. Maybe if I'm ever rich enough, I'll answer my own question. Then again, maybe I could like just choose to have it because it's my game. I don't know. What I do know is, if we step on this panel, we have a cheap invitation cardboard cutout of a monster popping out, which we can shoot with that spiky fruit and get ourselves five coins. It's not much, but it's something, I guess. It's an oddly well-hidden secret for how little money you get from it. You get more out of the plant that's right there in the, how did that miss? The crosshairs were on him, what? Come on, give me that again. Wasting valuable time on small change. I'm probably not going to get a good rank already. Hit you. Get my coins. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can't unhear it after all those things. Hey, a, a bat? Okay, I didn't remember seeing you in there before. Okay. Uh, I know that there are some areas where creatures will spawn more or less at random, so maybe that's what that is. We go over this way. 
we can get this plant off of that pipe and get the water flow going again a little bit. It's dripping. We also have a new enemy. I will give you not three, but one guess what this thing's name is. That's right. Its official name is Frog. As much as I'd love to give them crap for an uncreative enemy name, it's actually not their fault. They have had the official name of Frog since Super Mario RPG with the same name and everything, but they went down a good 20 pegs on the food chain compared to Super Mario RPG where they were basically people. Also, uh, yeah, we just solved the problem of this room and got rid of all the ghosts without even acknowledging it. Or not, because the water is not flowing. Oh. Yellow. Hmm, <laughs> just as I feared. The hydro generator seems to be in good condition, but the water pump must be clogged. Isn't that better than the worst you could have feared because the generator could be broken and the water could be clogged, so that'd be two things we'd have to fix. Why don't you check the water supply on the roof? We have our next objective already, but that peephole showed us more than one thing that we could do in this room. And I don't just mean this treasure chest where there was a key that I almost had land on my head like a speed running something or other. <laughs> um, we saw that there was a toolbox that was rustling in the background when we looked through the peephole, but it's not there anymore. If we make it visible with the dark light device and, I have to say it, I felt it coming, suck on all of those balls, a one and a two, and we all love the mom boo, except for you. I can't sing, that much is apparent. Uncover you wherever you're going, there you are. Suck on the tongue, can I get over this way a little, wow, you man, let's get you between the, or not, sure, that's okay too, oh, come on, get between two, I was hoping you get between two things to drain his health really fast because that's how you do it. How about uh, like this? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get over there and. That does it for that. We have the boo for our first visit to the Haunted Towers. We have a key. I think we are good to move on. Or not. Even though Luigi quite clearly clipped through the thing that was keeping him from going that way, I guess walking through a solid object takes it out of you and he can't walk much further after doing so, so he just had to turn back around. That's the only explanation that I can think of for why he didn't keep going. Let's get that very unconvincing imitation of a leaf off of there and screw you, fruit. I do not want you. I instead want the small change that I was saying I didn't want. Hey, golden mouse, come back here, buddy. Give me your goods. You're a lot better than the small change. Uh -huh. Go inside this door, and as we do so, look at the map. It was like, what, four missions in a gloomy manner before we went to the third floor? No, on our first visit, we are going all the way up to the fifth dang floor. I know that these are towers and he said to go to the roof, but yeah, we're covering a lot more ground this time. You can see that there's this buoyant bridge that normally is supposed to let you go through to the other side, but because the water flow is clogged, we gotta find another way. So we do what any sensible person would do and find an invisible door that lets us walk through an alternate dimension to get to the other side. The obvious solution. We enter this to find the greenhouse with very unconvincing fake moss on top. That happened a lot, I thought it would. I'm willing to bet whoever lived here wasn't a true botanist and just a poser who was trying to get tax breaks or something by saying he was protecting the environment, because a lot of these plants are very clearly not real. I know this place has been uninhabited for a long time, so maybe the plants could have died, but these aren't, like, dead things of moss. They're just very clearly fixed. Oh, so this door's totally getting blocked. Yep, it's like I know how the world works for Ouija. We have new enemies. We have greenies that are wielding shovels. They work just like the rolling pin ones. You just wait for them to attack you, you get out of the way, and then you can attack them as normal right as they're about to. If you try to flash the strobe bulb at them normally, if more of them will appear, yes, they will just block you right away. You just gotta be like, um, I don't know if anybody is around here. Oh, whoops, I uh, duped you, yay! I am going to suck you up and then imprison you in the gods of and you'll have to listen to his ramblings all day. Better you than me. <laughs> so let's go back out. And there is yet another doormat that is without a matching door. We will fix that and reunite the two of them. Because inside... Maintenance. Got three more frogs that we can take out. And there is a treasure chest with some vines growing on it. Can't do anything about this yet, but want to remember it for later, just as you'd expect with anything that you can't do in any sort of dungeon crawling experience. Need to turn this flywheel to get the water flowing. 
That is assuming that there was water to flow down here. There's unfortunately not, just a bunch of green slime. Very sanitary, exactly what you'd want in your plants. I don't know, algae's a, like, it's, there is an algae that could be used as a fuel source. Maybe this green slime is actually really, really solid plant food. Oh, hey, gold bat. Uh, come, fine, don't come back. Uh, oh wait, no, you're back. Yes, 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 yes. I don't even care about the little ones. I just want to get the money. Thank you. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Cause anytime there's anything that's incomplete, you know, always check cause you never know. We're up on the second floor already. I say it like we're making a lot of progress. Tonight on Uncreative Enemy Names, we have dun dun dun, dun fly traps. You defeat them the same way as you defeat the cheap imitations. If only it was like that for all enemies. You just pop the fruit into their mouth, they choke on it, and they die horrible, sad deaths. But they're plants, so you know, it's cool. Kind of. I don't know, I guess making a plant choke would be, well actually there are those, there is like that type of ivy that chokes trees to death, so maybe it's not as unusual as I think it is. Get rid of them. I do it. I do it. Opens the treasure chest, has yet another key inside, which lands right on my head. Did the speed running tactics right this time. Wanna get that, get that flywheel a-moving. And then we can look into the ceiling, see that the pipes are rustling a little bit, or I guess not rustling, rattling would be the right term. This right here is a jerk. Yeah, if you step on that rug, you will go a plummet into the floor below and you can kiss your time bonus goodbye, so don't do that. I cannot tell you how much this place frustrated me on my first playthrough. You don't get any money for defeating these guys, so don't even try. Just run past when the coast is clear. Or when the coast is not clear, if you want to be like me. Uh, hey, I got through to the other side just fine. That was kind of cool. Let me at least get that one gold bar. Come on, give me the gold bar. Give me the gold bar. Give me the gold bar. Give me the gold bar! I want the gold bar, you dig? Thank you. <laughs> at least I got one of them. But at what cost? 20 HP. I'm waiting for you guys to finish. Good. Take it through. Thank you. Run button is your friend. Do not forget it like an idiot. Like me. The laboratories. Want that. And I want you. All that. Two gold bars already? All right, gotta wait for you to attack me. Come on, come on, buddy. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm all alone in here. I'm not really sure I believe in ghosts. Oh, whoops, I do. <laughs> that, and then there's two of you. You're not gonna attack me today. I am not going to lose health to a greenie. I will lose health to generic crows that they didn't feel like designing all that much. Hey, oh, whoa, uh, you appeared right on the dot. Thank you. Ichimodaji. That is that. We can see inside of that tank. There is something a sparkling in there. We want to remember that that is there. Also, there is a shovel going through this pipe, even though it's not where you can see inside of the pipe. Really great. Oh man, I ruined it. Oh, and then it fell through the floor. Okay, that's, that's good too. <laughs> as long as it's defying physics in some comedic way, that's all I care about, honestly. If we press the L button, we can do the vacuum exhaust mode, which will then blow air into this plant to make a balloon of sorts. We can use this to fly around the room, and we're kind of getting to see what I was talking about before, just how much interesting variety there is in Haunted Towers, because you wouldn't have seen something like this in Gloomy Manor. No, you wouldn't have. This is, we're getting into the interesting stuff now. Speaking of which, let's go down here. Let, we can just suck in the balloon when we're done with it, and then get this. We have our first emerald, or second emerald. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean we have already missed a gem, because we've passed by a couple of gem spots that I thought we couldn't do yet. If we do, of course, we'll just go back for them later. That's all fine and good. Let's fly around. I think I actually went away, because yes. Yes, there is a door over this way. 
can't carry it through a door. It's just kind of a fact of life for some reason. The water supply. We are already almost to our objective from the looks of things. Then, yes. Step on the switch. Two of those things. They activate, but it's not enough to actually get things turning. So instead, we try to go up to that bucket to use it as a weight, but of course, like everything else, the bucket is haunted. We just let this greenie fumble around, not even able to see where he's going, until he checks to see where he is going and we can nail him. Now, we take this bucket back over where we found it. We fill it up with goop. It is now heavy enough to press down this button, allowing us to stand on this one, and wait for it, hit all four lights at the same time. I see the gold bars, I see the gold bars. Egad, do not call me right away. Let me run back there and get those. Egad, have a heart, have a heart. Do not be, do not go navy on us. Let me get it. Yes, yes, this is all fine and good. We can more easily navigate the place now. Come on, let me get it, let me get it. That is mean. They knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, and this camera angle shows them right to me as well. Hello. Fantastic job, youngster. The water flow is slowly normalizing. Hold on, I'll pixelate you out of there in just a minute. Ciao. I do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah! Huh? Huh? Wow! Huh? Oh! Oh! Huh? Nah, they knew what they were doing. We can pick up these gold bars just fine. No ways about it except that it came at the cost of some health. But even though I cared earlier, I don't care anymore because of just how much that was taunting me. We have a new enemy. This is the surprisingly creatively named Gobber. What? If you get too close to him, they will body slam you as we have already seen twice before getting hit by their main attack, which is throwing up all over you. Not exactly the most polite ghost. I'm gonna do that. Keep moving to the side so that they can't throw up all over you. Do that between their attacks and you should be pretty good. Yeah. And, okay, can't win them all. He didn't let me pick up the heart. Ho oh, ho, good job dealing with that rather rotund ghost. I'm bringing you back. Hold on to your hat. Is that it? Oh, I thought we got a gold rank there for a minute. That would have been nice, but hey, no big deal. One more minute to clear it and we would have gotten elite. Wow. Great job, Luigi. Let's see that new ghost. You know what that means, after how many missions of just barely not getting it, we finally qualify for a new upgrade. We now have the level three suction on the Poltergeist 5000. That allows us to charge to full capacity. Well, I'll be. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. Good job restoring the water flow. If this whole ghost hunting thing doesn't work out, you may have a future as a plumber. Oh, don't be sad, Luigi. Plumbers make a lot of money. Count your blessings. 
You'll be happy to know that the Haunted Tower's water system is now almost completely functional. I also have news regarding the Dark Moon piece. But why don't you take a break? You look a little... soggy. He said almost operational. That means that our next mission is totally gonna be dedicated to actually getting it back online because we didn't do the full job. Pinwheel Gate. The gem that we didn't collect is actually in quite a simple location. Just walk behind the stairs and pick it up. For some reason, I thought we couldn't do that. I think it was that I thought the treasure chest in there was the gem that we couldn't get in this particular area. They are pretty close by, so I guess I can kind of believe that. And next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! With the water flow restored in the Haunted Towers, we can resume our search for the Dark Moon piece. And now, I have a better idea of where it might be. See you guys then!